Alabama senior Carly Sims has put her gymnastics talent on display for the Crimson Tide time and time again. But Saturday night against Georgia, she put another one of her talents on display. Chris Womack has the story. We had three goals tonight. Uh, one, to have fun. Two, to love our gymnastics. And three, to thank everybody before us. Carly Sims. The unspoken goal for the Alabama gymnastics team was to send the seniors out right on senior night, including Carly Sims. The All-American overcame ankle surgery that's hampered her all season to dance her swan song in Coleman Coliseum. It just made my heart so happy when I stepped up there. When the team walked out of the tunnel here at Coleman Coliseum, they all carried a little Carly Sims with them. You see, the Alabama Crimson Tide wear a different leotard for every meet, and for senior night, they chose a designer from within their own squad. I was just thinking to myself, there can't be a better statement than to allow these women to wear something that they created. I actually have a ton of leotards that like I've sketched out and um, Dana had an idea, I was like, why, why don't you make one for us? And I was like, of course. And I, we get to wear it. That was a no brainer. I was like, yeah, of course. Sims was paired with assistant coach Brian Rashilla to form the Tide's internal design team. We have nicknamed the leotard the Carshilla because Carly came up with the first rendition and then Brian is also an artist. So Brian, I said, could you guys do a little more work here and there? And out of the blue one day, I, she got one made and she's like, hey, come look. And I was like, wait, it's real life. I was so excited. I was like, wait, it's real life. And she's like, yeah. Wow. It just was this. It was just like a little fairy tale. <laughs> it was really special. This fairy tale hasn't ended. The third ranked Tides still have time to accessorize the Carshilla with a national championship ring. Chris Womack, CBS 42 Sports. All right, thanks, Chris. So the Carshilla isn't the only leotard that has earned a name. Coach Doc Gorth told me that she comes up with a name for all of the leotards that the team wears during competition. Pretty cool stuff there, Lee. All right, thanks, Lauren. I like that, the Carshilla.